And I guess ultimately, many of the investors are oil people, mm -hmm. you know, Harold Hamm being one of them. That may very well be the case. It's just, uh, you know, we're going to pivot and go to the next phase if that's what ended up happening. Because I guess, I mean, the science is there that it does enhance it. It's just a question to how to really optimize it. I know you and Dee's been working on that. Uh, and so they're trying to sort through all that whole process. Right. And, and you know, a couple of years ago, uh, there was a, a uh, conference event over at BSC Energy Center. And I recall that Ron Ness himself said that they're seven to 12 years out from really using this at large scale. And so there is not an, they cannot immediately use this if they had it because they haven't gotten the science up to speed and the engineering up to speed quite yet. Now, the problem is even if that's where they go next, they're gonna still have to sell it, this concept of bringing the CO2 from Iowa through South Dakota because South Dakota has taken a hard line position, period. They don't, their law does not actually consider the, the different uses of it because what they did was they confined and restricted the, the definition of uh, public use and common carrier to the point where the company would have to meet a new hurdle of, of proving that this is for public good and common good. And so with enhanced oil recovery, that's a lot easier than with sequestration, but they would still have to lobby South Dakota to allow for this sort of thing to happen, even if that was what the plan was.